How are you feeling? It's been pretty good, actually. I just lean forward. Take a breath through your mouth. So we were able to control his symptoms in a way such that he could get back to living the life that he's used to living. And that's really what palliative care aims to do, is to help people live fully with whatever limits their illness places on them. Hello, I'm medical reporter Dr. Max Gomez. I, like you, have family members with serious or advanced illnesses. I'm proud to report that all New York City public hospitals have palliative care teams to help patients and families cope with every stage of serious, chronic, or advanced illnesses. The teams provide comfort, support, dignity, and hope. When New Yorkers come to our public hospitals with serious illness, comfort is the first thing they want palliative care to provide. I didn't know what to do. My whole day was completely uh, disrupted, and I couldn't. I was just uh, focusing on the pain. That's all I would have. If I put my hand down your spine, no pain. His oncologist said, he would, would, you, try would you try a pain management doctor? Right. Um, as soon as that happened, it was it just totally changed. It made you feel that whatever time Right. Peter had that we had some quality. When we have a serious illness that medicine doesn't expect to be fully cured or which is already advanced, palliative care helps focus on the quality of our lives. Treatment of pain and discomfort is one thing, but we also need support, the palliative care support of a whole team. I come into this program not only for pain relief, I come into this program sometimes to have them listen to what I have to say, to feel important, that I do count. They have been wonderful. You know, I talk to Norma about my dog, I talk to Norma about my diet, I talk to Elena the same way. You know, I come in and I talk to them about my personal life, things that go on in my life that have nothing to do with the pain medication that I take. Seriously ill patients and their families can feel like they have lost control of their lives. But a palliative care team can help them understand the treatments and make choices. Choices based on the patient's goals. A patient-first attitude helps the patient and family maintain their dignity. It's really important for us to see that we're really making sure that families and patients are treated with respect, with dignity, in, in a very culturally sensitive manner. I'm Dara, she was 91 years old. She was placed on a ventilator. She was on a feeding tube. She couldn't eat by herself and she was bedridden. We didn't want her to live out the last of her days that way. Aunt Doris didn't have a healthcare proxy in place and um, she didn't have a living will or any of those things. They were always asking us if we had questions, whether or not we should have her resuscitated should she stop breathing or her heart stop. Anna would meet with us separately. She would explain it, you know, in layman's terms about all the risk and all the options. It made us feel better. You know, sometimes the focus is always on making the patient comfortable, but I think for the family too, they made us feel comfortable, they made us feel better, and we, we dealt with it better. This hurt doesn't palpate around the joint. A little bit over here. Right here. Perhaps most important, palliative care is meant to make hope possible again. That I wanted to go to my son's wedding. I was looking very forward to it. Dr. Shia tells that we're Greek and that um, you do the Greek dances. Mm -hmm. And she said, I don't know if you're going to be able to lead a dance, but you'll be able to dance with your wife. I was able to, to go through the whole wedding pain-free and, you know, it was, uh, it was beautiful. The option of palliative care, especially at end of life, focuses on pain relief, psychological and emotional support for patient and family, and where requested, spiritual support. It's a holistic and intensely patient-centered approach to helping patients when they are most vulnerable. That's really what palliative care aims to do, is to help people live fully with whatever limits their illness places on them. It's really important for us to see that we're really making sure that families and patients are treated with respect, with dignity, 
in, in a very culturally sensitive manner. It's a holistic and intensely patient-centered approach to helping patients when they are most vulnerable.